So, just arriving for baby 27. The car has just turned up. I got notification of it about 20 minutes ago, so a little bit of a rush to get here. But here we are. Oh, hello. Here you have a little one for us. Yes. Hiya. I You're not that late. And he yeah. said I can bring him in. Perfect. The, the um, people working for us on the farm brought him to me. The mom is dead. They found the baby okay. on the dead mom. So. Okay, perfect. Well, not perfect, obviously, but thank you for bringing her. Him? Her? I don't know. Please. Please. Him. That's a girl. That's a girl. Luna, our sick post staff, with the new arrival. She's just giving her um some of our rehydration solution we like to give this first before we give milk to make sure the baby isn't dehydrated we don't know the situations that the babies have come from this um baby seems to have come from uh, a farm where her mother was found dead um the lady that uh, has taken her in has had her since friday today is tuesday um just because she didn't know if we were open um over the weekend we are we're always open especially today well, this is a little bit of a late re arrival as well, and uh, also had some very um, traumatic experience hanging on its dead mother. Uh, so we've got to be very, very careful with this little one. Um, it's sort of lost its troop, it's lost its mom, and it is at a little bit of an age that uh, it would actually um, know that this type of stuff has gone on and uh, that it is in, uh, in a different position to where it should be. So the older they are, uh, the lot more the, the traumatic experience and uh, the more difficult time the little one has. So we do have to be very careful with them, how we treat them, how we bring them up. It's just a pity we don't have another little friend uh, for her to be with. Well, with each little one that uh, comes in, we have to just do a little bit of a once over. Uh, basically, that involves taking the weight um, checking the teeth, uh, the temperature and all this kind of thing just to make sure um, everything is fine with them uh, and then we sort of adjust the treatment or their diet according uh, to how they um, basically respond. Um, sometimes a lot of them are dehydrated and we just have to start them off on rehire before they go on to milk but you can see how submissive this little one is. Uh, basically that is a state of trauma uh, she's normally, you know, if you get a little one in there trying to jump out of the pot and out of the blanket, she's just so submissive um, that, that it's like kind of gets into a state where you're worried that they've given up uh, because they're not really trying uh, to do anything. So we're going to have to be a lot more careful with this little one. Well, it's approaching the evening and uh, of course time to wrap the little one up and just make sure they're comfortable for the night. Um, so just trying to give a little bit of extra care. You can see how uh, she's just falling asleep with the, the rubbing on the top of the head. She has managed to drink a little bit of milk, but she's drinking very, very slowly. Uh, she still is very depressed. Um, you can just see the, the little sad face. It's just like a little human. So you can basically have a look there and see her reaction, even in the eyes. She's a little bit forlorn. She is missing her family, missing the troop, not really understanding uh, what's happened to her, especially with the move between people. So just remember she was picked up, uh, taken off her mom's dead body, which would have been traumatic already, then to another family. You don't know what their situation was like, and now she's moved to the to the foundation. So, um, yeah, you can, just, you can just see it there. It's not, she's not really looking very, very happy at all. I'm just going to say good morning to Trixie. Trixie sleeps like an angel. We don't generally hear her peep. Um, she's eaten all of her grape. And I'm going to try and see if she's interested in any milk. Um, or if I need to burrito. Hey Trixie. Tired. So I'm just going to get her out and give her a burrito. So we're just trying to get her on the feeding cage. So that's why we would feed through the bars. But 
if she doesn't want then um, I'll just take her out and burrito her and we'll try again uh, tonight well uh, Trixie might be battling to drink a little bit or not drinking so much but uh, she certainly loves the food and papaya seems to be one of her favorites so uh, she seems to uh, get into that quite a lot and is le at least eating that it has got a little bit of liquid and stuff in it uh, so it is helpful um, but we are worried about the the drinking situation because as you know the whole uh, program revolves around them going into the little feeding cage and drinking their milk uh, which is very very important for them so uh, we hope she's going to get the taste uh, for milk shortly um, but in the meantime at least she's eating she's enjoying the food and uh, slowly coming right and coming out of her little self Oh, this is little Trixie's uh, usual little position, sitting at the window. You can see how she's just staring out there, just hoping uh, that her family is going to come past, that her mom's still around to come and fetch her. I'm not really understanding what's going on with herself um, and just hoping that there's going to be some chance that she can actually get back to her troop again. So little Trixie is not really even interested in her food. So uh, what we ended up doing is taking the food up to her. Um, and at least then she sits there by the window, selects little items that she would like to eat um, and start eating them. Papaya seems to be her favorite um, at the moment. Uh, so she does love eating that even over banana. But uh, at least she's eating it's the main thing. But she's not. she doesn't want to come away from staring out the window um, down to the ground to see if she can get something to eat there. Trixie is just going up to her food plate. Um, this is her second food plate of the day. And she's gone straight in for the papaya. We also have a little visitor at the window. So Simeon is a juvenile. Um, about two three years old um, who came in to have his leg amputated um, he's part of the bandit group um, we can always notice him because he does have this cloudy eye and he's a very cheeky little boy big boy Trixie's not showing much interest preferring just to focus on her food So food seems to be a very big uh, draw card for little Trixie. She didn't really show much interest to those coming around looking at the window, uh, which also means she sort of knows that they're not uh, part of her troop, so that's why there's no real interaction there. But uh, she is satisfied with the eating, um, and is eating quite, quite a lot, all kinds of different things, which is great. And uh, so at least she's, that part of things is doing well and uh, she's not trying to starve herself or do anything because sometimes they do go into this depression where they don't want to eat or drink but she seems to be working on herself and coming right Trixie is just sat at the door eating some apple 
Trixie's third day of her quarantine, so her third day in Neverland, so tomorrow we move her to Disneyland. Even though she's been quite quiet, um, Trixie is uh, quite distressed. Um, she has been pacing quite a lot around Neverland. It's Trixie's final day in Neverland, so the final day of her three day quarantine. And today Trixie has been struggling. Um, she's been pacing a lot, um, the same kind of route for about an hour and then switching up and doing another route. She'll sit at the window for a little bit and then she will climb down. Um, we have given PCO, so PC Orphan and Rescue, um, because even though she's not been crying, she has been understandably distressed. We're hoping that moving her into Disneyland is going to um, calm her down a little bit because it's made of all mesh. Um, and obviously we know that she likes to sit up here and watch. Um, so we will see how she does. Trixie has just laid down for some grooms. She's getting a bit more comfortable with people. She's getting much better. is just currently in the feeding cage um this is the first time that she's gone up to the bottle by herself and has started drinking which is amazing progress it's been a week since she's been with us and um, for her so she'll basically be drinking from that bottle um and going up to the feeding cage by herself now um because she's shown us that she can do it and she had a nice big drink this morning um, of about 20 ml, so we'll just wait until she's left the feeding cage properly. <laughs> okay, so uh, here, let me focus, is the bottle. Um, so she was on um, about here previously, so we said that she drank 17 ml. So she's probably drank 5 ml, which is good. Um, it's not 9 o'clock yet, and she's on 25 ml milk, which is perfect. So... Um, we'll just uh, leave her to it today. It is a cooler day. Well, sometimes I have to even rope my family into helping with these little ones, and in this case, my sister. Uh, fortunately, she has handled and helped us with little ones before, but uh, she makes a good drop off point for those that uh, aren't close by to us. And of course, she runs travel bugs, so does some, some fantastic trips to Kruger. If you are interested, she's a perfect person to contact. But a big thank you to my sister for bringing this little one through so we can try and sort it out as quickly as possible. How long have you had the baby? Uh, we've had her for three days now. Three days. And But the previous owner, I think, had her for about maybe two months. You guys will guess how old she is. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a picture of her when she's very young. <laughs> Yeah. And then, obviously, she doesn't look like that now, so... Yeah. Okay, and um, she's... She's quite... She'll scream now. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't, don't panic. Don't panic. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. She loves her rabbit, so don't remove her rabbit from her. <laughs> so, another little one that's come in that's going to have a little bit of uh, trauma as well. The trauma here is going to be more from missing the family. Uh, because they've almost had him uh, or her, it is a her as far as I know, uh, for two months. 
and uh, that plays a big role because it's already got the attachment to the whole family um, it's got over in, in a way the loss of its mother for wha- however that happened um, and now all of a sudden it loses its troop again so it goes through a kind of a double trauma and this is one of the reasons why we try to get these little ones in as fast as possible so that it doesn't get attached to the people that have found it and it has to go through this double trauma so yeah it's going to be a little bit of a shocking this one's not going to be looking for its troop so much as looking for its lost family Check in all of her limbs, but they all seem fine. We have good weight, a little bit dehydrated. So, usually, when we pick up the skin, that is staying where it is. Um, so, we'll get her some rehi in a minute. And then the next thing is, I just want to have a look at her teeth and her mouth. Um, but she's got that nice golden crown, so that means she's at least eight weeks old. Um, Looking at her, I'd probably say she's about three months. So we're just at Disneyland. Uh, As you can see, it's a very miserable rainy day today. Um, So Trixie is going to be meeting um, our newest baby, uh, baby Harris. Instead of them going into Disneyland for the day, they are going to go, uh, Trixie's gonna join Harris in Neverland, where it's much nicer. Um, and warmer. Trixie has just been in the back of Disneyland but it's quite dark in there Um, so we want to make sure that we get everything ready um, in here. Um, So Catherine's just in here. We'll bring her in and then just shut the door behind us for a second Uh, while we take off shoes which is sometimes the hardest part. So we can see in here that Harris um, is doing good she's climbing um, and exploring so what we like to do is we'll just wait for emma to come in and then we're just gonna lift up the top of the blanket so that the two babies can just see each other for a second so trixie is a very wild monkey Um, so she, um, is about four months old, um, and was found on her mum in Letzitelli. And Harris has been kept as a pet for over two months. Um, so we're expecting her to be a little bit unsure, but we're expecting them to get on really well. And we'll see if Harris wants to come over. This is good. Trixie, what's behind you? Harris seems a lot more interested than Trixie. Um, But they don't seem scared of each other, which is good. So what we're just gonna do is just open it up and see where they go. Harris is on my shoulder currently. And Trixie is just climbing. I'm going to go say hello. So Harris is definitely the more confident of the two, even though she just ran to catch her in for comfort. Um, Trixie loves to sit at the windows. This is something that she did when she was in Neverland um, and in Disneyland a lot. So we will see how they get on. So because Trix is a little bit more wild or comes uh, from the wild sooner, she's going to be a little bit more reserved because this will be like a monkey from another troop. So she's not going to just be open as freely as what Harris is because he doesn't know really any difference at all. So we just offered Trixie some milk and she didn't want, but I gave her a piece of mango instead because I didn't want her to feel left out. And as you can see, Harris is still going. Um, She's nearly finished the bottle. She generally drinks um, between 40 and 50 mils every evening, so on night shift. Um, And then once she's had this, they get their next feed um, at um, after 7am once they're in Disneyland. 
and tomorrow is actually a really exciting day because we're going to be moving into South Intra Cage where these guys will get used to the layout, um, get used to the feeding cage, meet the troop through the fence and then get ready to meet foster mummies soon after. So the girls now have their food bowl and their bunny bottle and Harris has already started on the apple and Trixie's trying to steal it even though there is an entire bowl of food right in front of them what's this guys so we'll leave them to it so we're just gonna pop the blanket down so Trixie's still a bit unsure um so I've just grabbed her for a cuddle she is a very changed little girl from the monkey that came in over a week ago, um, she didn't used to like comfort at all um, and now she's quite happy with cuddles and grooming. Um, she obviously feels a bit unsure with Harris here. Um, she's a very anxious little girly most of the time so we want to make sure that she feels like she can come to us for comfort. Um, and I'll just groom her butt while she's up there. We haven't tried touching um, apart from um, just now, um, which we got on video. Um, but Trixie just seems to want to ignore that Harris is here. Um, so we will see. Trixie and Harris are um, enjoying their last couple of minutes in Disneyland. So they have been playing on the branches, which is very nice. Um, so this one is Trixie. And Harris has come um, up to say hello. So Trixie likes to climb high. She thinks she's Spider-Man sometimes. Whereas Trixie is just waiting on their crate and now on me um so we're gonna put them into the crate in a minute and then we're gonna head to sav um so i'll spend a couple of days in sav getting used to the monkeys getting used to the enclosure and then we will um let them meet mums we're probably gonna let harris go first just because she um is more humanized um so it'd make it easier um for her to bond with a mum um, whereas we know Trixie loves monkeys, um, so she'll get on well. So we are just leaving Disneyland and we are heading to Sav in Tricage. Um, so Emma is carrying the babies. So in the crate we have Harris and Trixie. <laughs> um, so we're just going to go to Sav. They spent the last couple of days in Disneyland together. So we have an airlock, so this helps monkeys stay in um, and bandits stay out. Um, and it just kind of, obviously, if the monkeys from the inside go into the airlock, they're still in a contained area. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not been used much since last year. Yep. It's okay. <laughs> um, so they are in. So we'll just let them out in a second. Trixie is just at the fence. There's no one there currently, but I see Dabney is going to make a wander over. So you can just see her walking across. So this is Dabney. Dabney is a two-year-old. Um, so she was from the 2022 baby season. Um, and she's also in here with Utku. Um, who is um, a baby from last year, as well as Phoebe, and then Soka, who is also a two-year-old. As you can see, Trixie's lost a bit of her confidence uh, now that um, I think Nora has come to the fence, um, but she did really well. Um, she's at the food plate now, and Harris has gotten lots of 
confident in the intricate. She is planning. We can just see her tail there. Um, this is really good because in Disneyland she would spend a lot of time on people um, instead of climbing. So it's making it really nice to actually see her up and about, especially with Trixie not there. Both girls are in the feeding cage at the South Icy. So we've got Trixie on the left and Harris on the right. The girls are settling in very well. They moved in here yesterday and Harris might be meeting uh, mummies over the next couple of days. Um, when I say mummies, I mean Acorn. Um, she's the only foster mum that we would use in um, Sav currently, um, which is very exciting. Um, they've both progressed really well during their time in baby care, um, but we're probably gonna let Harris meet her mama first. Um, and then Trixie, just because um, Harris is more humanized after being a pet. And as you can see, they both use the holes really well. Trixie's even gone right up to the fence. Um, there's no monkeys there currently, but this is really um, important that she's going away from us. Um, and then Harris is climbing. So we're very proud of both of them. Both babies are just at the fence. Um, Harris has just jumped up onto my shoulder. And Trixie's a bit more confident. We like to sit close to the fence with the babies to give them a little bit of extra uh, support and comfort um, and also confidence. Harris likes to spend a lot of time on people, so if I sit next to the fence, even if she might be a little bit scared, she's still a lot closer than she would be if she was by herself, which is good. I believe this is Dora, um, one of the three-year-olds. Um, but yeah, everything is going very well. I can see Acorn um, currently, who's just a bit further down into the tree. Watch the erection of this little juvenile as he tries to put Trixie in her place, especially when she screams um, and makes a noise. Trixie's just trying to steal some sweet potato currently. Okay. Because he's not too sure who the mom is, he pretends he didn't do anything and he was just sitting there doing nothing. Do get a food well, break, that brings us to the end of hour, this episode. I hope everybody enjoyed it. Um, and Next week, we should be able to see uh, well, so. them getting their foster mom acorn and how she introduces them to the rest of the troop. Thanks again to big. all our supporters and donators out there. It is really helping in this really tough time of the year. We've got a lot of fundraising going on. Please spread the word. Thank you. See you next week. <laughs>